on June 1, 2009. An Airbus A330 was flying over the Atlantic Ocean while en route from Rio to Paris. Flight 447 had been in the air for around 3 hours and 40 minutes since taking off from Rio last night. Strong turbulence was shaking the plane since half an hour. The extreme weather caused ice to form on the critical pitot sensors that provide airspeed and angle of attack information to the flight computers. One alarm after another lit up the cockpit monitors. One after another, the autopilot, the automatic engine control system and the flight computers shut themselves off. The final minutes of flight 447 had begun. Four minutes after the airspeed indicator failed, the plane plunged into the ocean, killing all 228 people on board. Thirty first May two thousand nine. Air France Flight four four seven was programmed to perform scheduled flight between Rio and Paris. There were 12 crew members and 216 passengers on board. The captain of the flight was 58 years old Mark Dubois, who had 11,000 hours of flying experience. The co-pilot who was in the cockpit was David Robert, who was 37 years old and had 6,547 hours of flying experience. The least experienced co-pilot, whose name was Pierre Cedric Bonin, he was 32 years old and had 2,936 hours of flying experience. At 2210, the crew of Flight 447 was cleared for pushback, and the aircraft started taxiing and took off at 2229, and one of the co-pilot was flying it. Shortly after midnight, the airplane reached in its cruising altitude of flight level 350. At about 12.30, the crew received information from the OCC about the presence of a convective zone linked to the intertropical convergence zone between two points, Salpu and Tassil. Then the crew dimmed the lighting in the cockpit. The co-pilot noted that they were entering the cloud layer. A few minutes later, the turbulence increased slightly in strength. The captain woke the second co-pilot, Bonin, who was the least experienced among three, and captain decided that Bonin will be in command while he will be taking rest. Now, Bonin was on the right side of the cockpit, and David Robert, who had more experience, was on the left side. After leaving his seat, the captain attended a briefing between two co-pilots, informing them that they might find turbulence ahead because they are in the cloud layer. Then the captain left the cockpit. At 2.06, the turbulence increased and pilots informed the cabin crew and they said that they will inform when they will be out of it. Then the aircraft headed towards 12 degrees left from its route. Crew reduced the speed to about Mach 0.8 and turned on the engine de-icing. After that, ice crystals started to accumulate in the pitot tubes. The autopilot disengaged itself because a critical piece of equipment of aircraft was sending wrong information to the cockpit. Now the co-pilot was manually flying the aircraft. He pulled back on the controls and the plane started to climb while turning left. The indicators were showing loss of speed. But he continues to pull back. 
at 210.16. They noticed that they were losing speed. The flying pilot made rapid and high amplitude roll control inputs and a nose up input that increased the airplane's pitch up to 11 degree in 10 seconds. The airplane was then at about 37,000 feet and was still climbing. At 210.36, the speed displayed on the left side started to function normally and it showed the speed as 223 knots. But the integrated standby instrument system speed was still erroneous. The co-pilot robot called the captain several times until then. The aircraft was climbing but was losing its speed. Then the stall warning triggered. Still, the flying pilot was commanding nose-up inputs. The speed of aircraft decreased to 185 knots, but also the flying pilot continued to make nose-up inputs. The airplane's altitude reached its maximum of about 38,000 feet. Its pitch attitude and angle of attack were 16 degrees. At 211.42, the captain re-entered the cockpit. The stall warning stopped after having sounded continuously for 54 seconds. The aircraft was falling and was at the altitude of 35,000 feet with the angle of attack more than 40 degrees and the vertical speed about minus 10,000 feet per minute. The flying pilot was still pulling the side stick. Then again, the stall warning triggered. Beginning 2.40.17, the ground proximity warning system alarm began to sound. The aircraft crashed into an Atlantic Ocean. The wreckage was found at a depth of 3,900 meters on 2 April 2011. According to the French Air Investigation Report, the pilots flying could have saved the plane after it temporarily lost its speed readings. They concluded that pilots failed to appropriately process all warning and instrument readings which resulted in a catastrophic accident. When the autopilot disengaged, the information about the airspeed and angle of attack made the pilots confused, which led to a damaging chain of events. It was pitch dark night. They have no option except trusting those instruments. The pilots reacted to the low airspeed by continually holding the nose of the aircraft up. The aircraft, which was not in a flight mode that enabled flight protection laws, stalled and plugged into its end. And it will always remain unclear what was going through the flight crew's mind in that time to ignore such a significant amount of stall and low airspeed warnings. This much for today. Please support us by liking the video and subscribing the channel. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.